Senator Cormann. Deputy President. Mr Acting Deputy President, our borders are less secure today as a direct result of the actions taken by the Rudd uh, Labor government. So far, the government has ended the Pacific Solution. They have abolished temporary protection visas with uh, more than 1,000 people on temporary protection visas granted permanent residency. They have ended the 45-day rule. And of course, this bill is another step in the wrong direction. And over the coming weeks, we will be debating the Migration Amendment, Immigration Detention Reform Bill 2009, which uh, will be yet another step in the wrong direction. These Rudd government changes undermine our system of mandatory detention, a system introduced by, the, by a previous Labor government. They undermine the integrity, indeed, of our uh, prote border protection system. And of course, we've had a whole raft of other administrative changes on the inside of the Department of Immigration, who have all got one thing in common. The one thing they've got in common is to weaken our strong border protection system, the strong border protection system that this current government has inherited from previous governments of both persuasions, of the previous Howard government, of the previous Keating government. It's a rat Labour government that is sending a message to people smugglers around the world, to illegal immigrants around the world, uh, that Australia is back open for business. Under the right Labor government, Australia is back to being a soft touch. And, and of course, uh, by doing so, the right Labor government is not only putting Australia at risk, uh, they are putting potential illegal immigrants at risk. The message the government is sending to people, to people smugglers and to possible illegal immigrants is that if you can find a way to get to Australia, the Australian government will find a way to keep you here. And of course, there is a very obvious and direct link between the actions of the Rudd Labor government and the increased number of boat arrivals on our shores. And I just go uh, through the numbers, and, and I will include both the excised and non-excised places of arrival. In 2002-03, zero boats arrived. In 2003-04, three boats arrived. In 2004-05, zero. In 2005-06, eight. In 2006-07, four. In 2007-08, eight, three. Now, what happened since August 2008? What has happened since the Rudd Labor government started to weaken our border protection system in this country? 27 boats have arrived on our shores. And I know that this Eastern States-centric government, this Eastern States-centric Prime Minister doesn't care about this, but I would have expected better from Senator Evans as a senator from the great state of Western Australia, because the people of Western Australia are extremely concerned about where this is going. They're extremely concerned about the actions of the Rudd Labor government in the immigration portfolio. Now, Senator Evans and the Prime Minister have been trying to tell us how uh, they are push uh, factors that are at play, that the crisis in Afghanistan and uh, the uh, strife that Sri Lanka uh, is in somehow has caused uh, the influx in uh, illegal uh, boat arrivals. Uh, no, and Senator, Senator Cash pointed out, well, the conflict in Afghanistan has been going since 2001. It has been going since 2001. Push factors are always there. It's the pull factors that have changed, and they have changed as of August 2008 as a direct result of the deliberate actions of the Rudd Labor government. And I'll just sort of read through some of the uh, conflicts that have happened uh, across the world in the, in the period uh, 2002 uh, to 2007, when we had a very small number of illegal immigrants presenting themselves uh, at our shores. We've had the second uh, Chechen war. We've had the second uh, Intifada, which both went uh, from the period 2000 all the way through to 2009. We've, of course, had the war in Afghanistan, which has been going since 2001, the Ivorian Civil War uh, between 2002 and 2007, uh, the insurgency in the Maghreb, which has been going since 2002 and which is ongoing. There's been a civil war in Sri Lanka for the whole decade, not just uh, since um, August 2008. Uh, we've had the war in Darfur, in Sudan, uh, since February 2003 all the way through to 2009. The Iraq war, of course, in uh, March 2003. The conflict in northwest Pakistan since March 2003, which is ongoing. 
uh, the Islamic insurgency in Saudi Arabia, May 2003 to June um, 2008, uh, the Haitian uh, Rebellion, 2004, the Central African Republican Bush War uh, in March 2004 to April 2007, uh, the Balochistan conflict in Pakistan uh, in 2004, the Sada insurgency in Yemen in 2004, the conflict in, Niger, in the Niger Delta in 2004, uh, the Mount Elgin insurgency in Kenya in April 2005 through to March 2008, the Fourth Civil War of Chad from December 2005, which is ongoing, the Lebanon War in 2006, the war in Somalia from December 2006 to January 2009, uh, civil unrest in Kenya, uh, December 2007 to February 2008. None of these, none of these caused an increase in illegal boat arrivals at our shores. But guess what? From August 2008, border boat arrivals have started to increase. What happened in August 2008? It is when the Rudd Labour government sent a message to people smugglers across the world, we are back open for business. Now, I happen to be a migrant to this great country. And Australia is a very generous country. Uh, Australia is very good uh, to migrants and there are, there are very good processes in place. And for, for somebody that wants to come to Australia and you know, put their shoulder to the wheel, uh, this is the best country in the world. And we're very generous to refugees. And people who, have got, um, you know, people who are genuine refugees should be looked after by, by Australia. Of course they should. And Australia does. Australia does. But the reality is that people turning up at our borders are not always refugees. Uh, people who come here courtesy of people smugglers are not necessarily the most deserving of our support. We have to have a system uh, to effectively assess people who want to come uh, to Australia. And while that assessment uh, takes place, we have to have the capacity uh, to detain people who are undergoing that assessment. It is an important part of a system designed to keep our borders secure and it is that part of the system which the Rudd Labour government is uh, consistently dismantling, uh, sending a disastrous message overseas. And of course, earlier this year, 16 April uh, 2009, we've had a boat explode to, in the, to the northwest of uh, Western Australia. A boat exploded, people died. The Rudd government was going to present a report on this. Where is it? Where is the report by the Rudd Labour government into what happened to CF 36? Nearly five months now since this uh, tragic event happened and still the Australian people haven't been told what happened. What has the government got to hide? And instead, instead of telling us what happened with CF36, here they are introducing legislation after legislation, making our borders less secure. This is not uh, what the Australian people expected would happen uh, when, they, when they voted for right Labour government because that is not uh, what Labour told us would happen before the last election. Uh, Mr Acting Deputy President, this is yet another uh, bad piece of uh, legislation. This is yet another uh, bill in the immigration portfolio that takes Australia in the wrong direction. On behalf of the people of Western Australia, I object uh, to what is uh, being proposed here by the Rudd Labor government, as I object to all of the measures that the Rudd Labor government has taken in the immigration portfolio since coming uh, to government that have had the effect uh, to weaken our uh, border protection system. We need a strong border protection uh, system. The Australian people expect that our borders are going to be kept secure by the Australian government. The Rudd Labor government has taken step after step in the wrong direction. The Rudd Labor government has taken step after step uh, weakening our border protection system. The government will stand condemned for it uh, by the people of Western Australia on whose behalf I have spoken uh, to this legislation today.